Probably not, but that's not what I need it for. Can you still control it without the touch screen? Yeah. Oh, that's you just whip it around and it, uh, it adjusts accordingly. And it's got two buttons on it as well. That's cool. That's good. That's fun. Actually, it said that the fastest way was that way, so let's do that. Additionally... Kaboom! Hello! Selfie cam! Oh man, the Japan vlog number one. That's cool. Hey everybody, it's your boy, <laughs> Squeezy Jim, with my friend here. <laughs> Squeezy that's, Jim? That's, that's Monkey Mike. Hey guys! Say hello everybody, Monkey Mike. Unga boonga! There we go. Check him out. Uh, YouTube.clam slash monkey mic. Uh huh. Uh, what is is it too cold for you, no, monkey mic? I'm good. All right. My tears are coming out. All right. Well, that's <laughs> the end of vlog number one. All right. Here we are, navigating our way down the main streets of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh huh. There, check check this over here. Check that guy over there. Check out that statue. Who's that statue? Of? Let's let's go investigate. He's pointing at Trump Tower. Maybe it's Donald Trump himself. Who's that statue? It is. Uh. Uh. Irene Kupiklit. Is he a classic guy? Talking business. Hold on. Let, let me get the shot. Talk business. All right, just like Irv Kirk. Oh, right. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's your boy, Squeezy Jim. Squeezy Jim and Monkey Man. And we're here in the beautiful Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's cold. We're going to go get dinner at the McDonald's. It's gonna be good. Lucky man is just uh, having a little bit of a nap right now. It's a little warmer in here. Thank you. Squeezy Jim in his natural habitat. I mean, Monkey Man. All right, Monkey Mike, what you getting? Probably getting Sumo or Tope. Uh, <clears throat> Tonkotsu. And I'm probably gonna get a Mantu bun. Go. Hello, I'm Monkey Man, and I got the pork bun from where is this place? Ramen Sun. From Ramen Sun. It's got a pork, spicy mayo. And cucumber. I'm not the biggest fan of the cucumber. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Mm. And I, uh, Squeezy Jim, for some reason bought a beer, even though I don't like beer. Fun story. So I went in on the bathroom on the left. Me too. Thank you. And I only saw the bath, like, <clears throat> I only saw the toilet on the right, and I audibly said, oh no, this is what he meant by trendy. Not the sink? 
No, I, I didn't see it because the door opened to where it locked the seat. That looks like some pretty good ramen. That's right, we got food reviews here. This is Ramen Sun, I got the Shio. Not as good as Toto Ramen in New York in Hell's Kitchen. Monkey Man, what'd you get? And, what do you think? It's a solid 7 out of 10. Cool. Where are we? It's happening. Where are we? We're at the Chicago Pass of Blues. What are we doing? We're seeing Poppy. Who are you? I am Maurice the Monkey Man. Who am I? You are. Squeezy Jim. Hey guys, it's your boy Squeezy Jim and Maurice the, the Monkey Man. And they took the camera. It's a sad day. Yep. I'm very disappointed. So instead you got Apple phone camera. Can't sponsored. Hear any of this. It's pretty sponsored. Yep. We got 45 minutes. Get pumped. Happy is next. Thank you so much, Chicago. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your boy, Squeezy Jim, and I'm here with the Monkey Man. How's it going? Not good. But, but really, how is it? Apart from, apart from the thing that whatever some stupid person did a stupid thing it's fine it's fine all of a sudden oh no Here we are at Ghirardelli, getting our strawberry milkshake and hot chocolate. It's me, your boy, Squeezy Jim. I'm blocking the microphone, Squeezy Jim here, with the other guy. Maurice the Monkey Man. And we're walking here. We're walking. Where are we walking? To the secret lounge. Hold up. We gotta pay respects to our boy in John T. Chicago. There he is. There he is. Johnny Boy saved us from all those people. He's the one that ended the fire of Chicago. With one fell swoop. One. He blew it all out. One legislative sloop. John T. Chicago. May he rest in peace. Truly. 
a man truly not a to hero. Forget. All right. On a more serious note, we're going up there. See you next time. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Welcome to the Signature Room, the restaurant Chicago looks up to. The Signature Room on the 95th floor features lunch and dinner daily, award-winning Sunday brunch, and private events. The Signature Lounge on the 96th floor lets you enjoy cocktails <sighs> What? My ears. Yeah. No wonder this thing is barely working. This is a terrible iPhone. Yeah, it was free. Jack. Hard to deal with free tailing. Like, that's not what happened. Why is it so windy? Is there something? Air pressure. It's a windy city. Oh, that's that's a nice view. Hi guys, is there a view for drinks? Yep. How do you how do you find it so far is that kind of what you had? So, whenever I edit this together, i um, probably just going to put it all in chronological order, including the uh, video that I took on the phone. So maybe we should explain for the audience why I panned from the right to the left so many times during that concert. Well, <clears throat> the main reason is probably because throughout the entire audience, you had young teenage girls that were enjoying concert with their mothers and to our left was a person who looked extremely like Aaron Hansen of Game Girls and had the best facial expressions in the sense that he didn't express much in the concert. He was clearly there for his girlfriend and supporting her every step of the way. It's very succinct. Like, my friend Jason that hung out with Dakota Jake and I. His older cousin, not, not even cousin aunt, messaged me, like out of the blue, and she was like, make me look pretty. Like she, was, <laughs> she was having, she was having like a mental breakdown, and like, was like talking about depressing things about my my sister looks so pretty and low key Jason's mom was kind of hot because she was like 30 years old and physically fit and attractive but besides the point she was like really getting down on herself and like really relying on me to solve her problems so I just took screenshots sent them to Jason and he just kind of went yeah, she does that. <laughs> Jason, you need to, you need to talk with your aunt sometime. Tell her that she's a beautiful person and that she, she's fine the way she is. But did you take the pictures? No, <laughs> I didn't book a date with her at all. 
So here we are at the signature room at Hancock Building. That's why we're up in the six floors. We get this weird mixture of on the stereo above us. We have uh, the music for the masses, aka uh, what was that? Radio hit music. What was the last song? I don't, uh, I don't know. Anyway, we got that, and then downstairs we can hear. But sounds like an actual piano player who is playing like Claire de Lune, like live. And I just wish that they would just turn this stuff off. Sad day. 